हेलो दिस इज संजय साने फ्रॉम सानेज अकेडमी वेल आफ्टर बिल्डिंग सम मॉडल और वाइल ट्राइंग सम कैलकुलेशन वी रिक्वायर अ वॉट इफ टूल वॉट इफ टूल मीन्स वॉट दैट वी रिक्वायर टू सी हाउ द कैलकुलेशन आर परफॉर्म्ड वेन अ पर्टिकुलर वैल्यू इज मॉडिफाइड This can be very easily done by I Python widgets, which we are going to see with one very simple example. Let's see that. Well, before trying anything, you need to ensure that I P widgets is already installed in your Python environment. If it's not installed, please install it with pip install command. So hence, over here. we consider the data set boston boston housing popular data set in which we have medv as our response variable well i am considering over here lstat as the feature only one feature and medv as the response variable and let's run this now we will have a coefficient and a intercept say suppose that you want to check with every change in value of x how does y differ so you intend to create a small what if tool what if analysis tool so in this notebook i have created a simple what if analysis tool to begin with i have defined a function which predicts which predicts based on the fitted model and the prediction is displayed now the prediction which is getting displayed i have first created a string for displaying that prediction and use the display function for that this display can be imported from ipython.display import display hence now with this in place we first of all find the minimum and maximum of the feature now what we want to do is that you see this is the thing which we have created here with change in the value of lstat we want the value of the prediction to be differing this is what is what if analysis tool for doing that we require two things first of all the correct minimum and maximum has to be specified so hence i have specified over here the minimum and maximum as you see that i have called over here the function interactive in this function interactive i have predict on test called over here now the predict on test has one argument this argument will be getting the output from float slider this float slider this float slider is going to be a slider with which the value can be changed now whatever will be the value with this slider this value will be passed as the input to the predict on test and hence our widget is ready as you can see with this particular slider we are having value value in the sense that by default when we run this the value will be positioned at 10 minimum of it maximum of it has to be set in a relevant way step step means whenever we are going to move it is going to get get incremented or decremented by 0.05 you can modify this step over here well in widgets we are having float slider also int slider also and many other things in the description as you see i have stated over here the variable name well and the continuous update is false now if the continuous update is rendered to be true what happens is when we are changing that time at that particular moment the continuous update takes place as against that if we don't keep the continuous update as true then when we release the mouse button you know when we release the mouse button then the value down there will be updated fine
well feel free to try this out i am sharing this particular notebook at my github account the link of that particular notebook will be given in the description box thanks for watching this video feel free to try this out with different other variables thank you Thank <music> you.